Hello to this new video. Last week I showed you a basic workflow. How in a, uh, last week I showed you in a basic workflow how you use the Dev Forum custom nodes in Comfy UI. And today I want to show you how you integrate the Cadence feature from Dev Forum. It's an integrated way of interpolation, and you can slow down your animation with this feature and make everything more smooth. So today I want to show you how we integrate it. It's a little bit complicated. It is really important that you integrate it at the right positions. So today I will show you how you integrate it in the workflow we created last week. I will guide you through every step you need to do. Let's start by adding some extra settings into our settings chain. So we need the cadence settings. Called cadence parameters. You can put it between all the settings at the position you like. I just put it directly after our prompt. Let's set the diffusion cadence to 12. This is the amount of frames which get calculated between your first and second frame and between all the frames which the forum generates. So the higher the number you put into this field, the more moves your animation gets and the more frames will calculate it for interpolation. Let's use the raft in the optical flow cadence setting. And let's keep all the other settings like it is. So with this done, we need to create some space in front of our K sampler. So with control and mouse click and mouse left click, we can mark all the nodes. And then with shift click, we can move all the nodes to the right so that we create some space between our deform iterator node and our K sampler. First, we want to create the cadence interpolation node. We can already connect our frame data. And now we need some image data. The image data is not existing right now, but we can already create the nodes. So it is the load caged image node. We need two of them. The first need the value one. So it's loading the cage index one. And the second one is loading the cage index zero. Let's fill in the first one to the image input and the second one to the first image input. It is a little bit confusing, but when we create the nodes which will send the images into our cage, you will understand what is going on here. This image output port is our port where we want to save our resulting video or images from. So let's use the Deforum save video node. This is a special Deforum video node which you can use to output a video from all your caged files or after a certain number of files. I like to adjust the dump every settings to 100. So the video gets dumped every 100 generated frames. You also need to connect the different frame data to the video output node. And that's it for the save video node. We now need to add the add noise node at this position here. In the workflow from last week, we had our add noise node behind the K sampler. We can delete this here 
we don't need it at this point anymore. And we also can delete the frame warp node. We don't need this anymore. And we also can delete the VAE encode node here and the deform cache latent. We will create some other nodes here in a few steps. So let's get back to our deform at noise node. We need the frame data as well here. So connect the frame data to the add noise. And now we need to create a VAE encode from the forum. It's called VAE encode save. And we need to connect the VAE and we need to connect the latent. So now we can connect this VAE encode into our latent part of the case sampler. It's important to do this in front of the case sampler because all the interpolated data gets feedback into our case sampler. It gets smoother and better integrated. I cannot explain in detail, but I tried it after the case sampler. There were some strange problems with the um, interpolation order and uh, the interpolation was not calculated right. I think it was because of the setting of the cache files at a uh, wrong position so that cache zero was set before cache one. But I am not sure. Um, I did it like this now in front of the case sampler behind our iterator node and with this everything works like expected. Everything in front of the case sampler should be set so we can go behind the case sampler and now we need to create the logic to fill the cache images. So for this we need the image switcher node. We need this node because we need to know when our first frame got generated. When this happens, we output the first frame to our cache zero. For this, we need some special data from the deforum frame data. Let's pull out this cable and search for frame data extract. This node is able to extract certain data from our deforum frame data. So for example, it can say us when the first run is happening and we need to fill this, which is a Boolean value. It's true or false, depending on what run we are in. We have to fill this into our option here false or true. So we have to first right click on this node and convert widget to input and then click on convert option to input. This now gives us a possibility to connect the first run output to the option input. And now this image switcher node can tell when the first run is happening and then output the first image to our cache. So cache image and this is already set to zero. So the first image goes into the cache index zero. We also need to set the cache index one. So let's pull out this VAE decode image output Again, load the cache image and set it to one. So this image goes to our image cache at index one. And only when we run our workflow the first time, the first image gets cached into the cache index zero. And after that, this will not be used anymore because after the first one, we don't need this anymore because of the way the forum and the cadence node is calculating the interpolated frames. I think we should be good to go. We can use 
the preview feature in the cadence interpolation node. You click on preview and enable it. And now there is some important thing with the forum and these nodes. You often get errors when the cache is not set or when some information is somehow missing at any place inside the workflow. If you run into some errors like this, you have to reset your counter in the iterator node. So click this, reset latent, click this, and you can also, before you start the prompt, enable auto queue feature so that frame generation get repeated. So that should be it. Let's give it a try. So, so you see there is this error. Error occurred when executing the forum case sampler. None type object is not subscriptable. So this usually happens, I think, when there is a cache file missing. So what I do in this case I simply again start the queue and most of the time then everything is solved and it's running through all our generations. Okay, there is another mistake I did. For the add noise node we have to use the second image port. I accidentally used the first one, but we need to use the second one. For the future, it would be great if there is some information in the name of the port. Switch the port second image to add noise and let's try again. So it's running through. Things seem to work now. You can see our interpolation here. Uh, these are all the interpolation steps. And that should be it. What might be important to also mention, different optical flow cadence settings could have great impact how smooth your animation looks like. Also, you have to try out which diffusion cadence you use. So smaller numbers result in less interpolation. The bigger the number, the interpolation frames are bigger. So you have to find the sweet spot with these settings. Try out different flow cadence settings for different kind of animations. For example, if you zoom with the forum, the raft setting might be good. But if you translate everything into different directions, there might be uh, a better flow cadence setting. So be sure to try out those settings. It seems like everything is working. It's a bit complicated and the workflow gets quite big. But if you have created it once, it should be downhill from here. So hope you could follow me. If you have questions, just put it in the description below. I will put all infos from the video last week in the description as well. If you haven't seen the first video, be sure to have a look into it. I will link it in the description below as well. Hope I could help you. Hope you had fun and could follow everything. Please subscribe and follow the channel. That would help a lot. Next week, I'm planning to make a video on how to make animations with DForum smoother and more consistent. So be sure to hit subscribe to get informed when this video will go online. Thank you very much. Goodbye.